ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Orcish Inn. We're now on episode 7, and the grand opening of the Fluffy Orc Inn was a resounding success. So we now have customers coming to our bar, we have beer brewing at a nice healthy rate, we have more crops growing that will provide us with more hops, which will allow us to brew more beer and of course provide more to our customers. Now, on average we had about 3 customers per day. I'm um, coming into the bar. Now, I'm assuming over time that's going to increase too as well, but more orcs doesn't mean better things. More orcs, more problems. So, <laughs> I'm assuming over time that we're going to start to see some bar fights and stuff like that too as well. So, I am I mean, we're going to have to figure out ways to deal with that, I guess. In the meantime, I have some bigger plans because now we are actually getting some reputation points. We're also getting, we're going to start, we might get a social rank. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I, if I remember correctly, every social, oh, hello, welcome to the bar. Welcome, make yourself at home. That is a female, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, over time, you get these social ranks, and as you get social ranks, we will get access to different clans. Right, right now, we only have access to the Agricult clan, but when we get a social rank, we should get access to another clan and be able to bring in even different more and different types of customers that will want different types of beers at varying qualities so uh, with that being said the big plan that I have to get started today is to start building a brew house because we need we need an in a nice large indoor space to brew a variety of beers and have places to store those beers too as well like big beer cakes and stuff like that um, so that we can store a variety of different types of beers so that you know say say we're having a rough year for for oats for example like because we're growing oats right now say we're having a rough year for oats you know maybe we don't want to have uh the agricult clan come in but you know we might want to store some other beer from like extra beer for 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 a different type of clan or something oh geez oh no hold on hold on hold on i gotta drop off all this wood oh no look there's a bar fight going on now <laughs> We can we can go and challenge them. Uh oh, we are totally encumbered here. They're gonna break the place. No, hey, hey, settle down, guys. Settle down. Oh no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Get out of my bar. Get out of here. <laughs> I got teeth. Did you see that? I got teeth. Oh, they broke the bar. <laughs> oh my God, they broke our bar. Oh no. Okay, let's let's repair the bar. We got teeth out of that though. We got teeth. Yeah, we got teeth and I stole somebody's wallet. I stole two two wallets. I got 45 bucks in one wallet and 5 bucks in another. Wow, well that that kind of almost pays for the wall. So there, see, I told you, more orcs, more problems. That was amazing. Okay. I did Yeah, uh yeah, I didn't realize we'd start having that kind of problem already. Uh, okay, so we need we need some basic lumber here so I can rebuild some walls. That was hilarious. <laughs> you know, we've got to change our system here so that we can automate our sawmills and stuff. Um, because right now, it's it's kind of sloppy. Uh, this one is doing decorative. This one is also doing decorative. Let's change this to lumber planks. Let's store some of this wood that we just got. <laughs> that was great! We got into a big orcish bar fight. How wonderful is that? <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry. I, that was really exciting. I, I didn't expect that. Let's put it that way. I knew it could happen, but I didn't think it was going to happen with only three orcs in the bar. I guess, so when they get drunk enough, they, of course, they get a little bit, um, hmm, how you say, rambunctious? <laughs> they're orcs. They're orcs. Of course they're going to get rambunctious. So, yeah, so we need to find ways to deal with that. I think punching them is, oh, no, we are bleeding. Oh, no, hold on. We, we need to eat here. We're bleeding. So what does that do? You are bleeding, and every and every instance of, instance of this status effect will drain a lot of stamina if you don't do something against it. Create bandages by cutting beddings in a cutting machine, or wash bloody bandages and use them to remove an instance of bleeding. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh, that could be a, oops, oops, that could be a serious, serious problem. Let's rebuild our wall so that we can get more customers coming in, or do we want more customers coming in right now? I don't know. Yeah, I think we do. Uh, I mean, money, we need money, right? I mean, okay, so I wonder if I can just buy bandages directly. I am still moving very, very slowly. We're going to try and sell off any of this extra lumber and stuff that we have on us right now, um, because why not? Because... <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, totally unexpected. Honestly, totally unexpected. I did not expect bar fights already. I expected it at some point. So we got two teeth. It, here's what it says. It's certain. You've reached a very specific level in your life when you actually collect the teeth of your customers. 
I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess that's I guess that's a bad thing. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, all right. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so we got to do a bar fight. No, I need I need bandages. Does he have or carry bandage? Hey, he's got dynamite. That would stop a bar fight. Dynamite can be used in stone pits to create new st stone boulders. The amount of dynamite defines the amount of stones generated. But also, the range in which the stones land, the dynamite quality will result in high-quality stones ejected. That's interesting. Um, uh, not something we need right now, but maybe in the future. If we, our brew house, we're going to need a lot of metal, so possibly have to use some dynamite to get some more stone, because the stone, of course, gives us metal. So the, these are recipes for seeds. I'm kind of looking for something for bandages, sunflower seeds, all the, all the different types of seeds. But they're not recipes, they're... Oh, so I, I use my social rank to buy social rank and reputation, right? So rice, so for example, rye seeds trading warrant. It'll allow me to buy rye seeds off of him. I got it. I got it. That makes sense. Okay, uh, cutting machine. So it said something about a cutting, cutting bandages. You're bleeding every instance of this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Create bandages by cutting beddings in a cutting machine. Oh, okay. Do we have enough? Oh, do we have enough reputation points to get this? The cutting machine? Oh, here we go. Ten reputation points. Okay, uh, let's get that. So that is a... some. Oh. There it is. Okay, so if we right-click, that gives us a blueprint. We have a new blueprint, folks! We used our reputation points to buy the cutting machine blueprint. So let's just see what that looks like. Ah, there it is! A cutting machine can cut beddings into bandages or logs into paper because because we all know that's how, how paper is made. Slicing off logs. No... No, no, that's not how paper is made. But it's fun. It's a fun game. That's fun. So you can cut logs and make paper. Uh, paper for writing letters, I assume. Um, otherwise, yes. So we can make bedding into bandages. Now, what do we need to build this thing? Oh, it has to be indoors, too. Oh, that's... I guess we can place it in, uh, in, in this little side room here. So let's do that. Should have more than enough. Whoops. I keep hitting my Windows key by accident. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see it. My, my whole Windows shuts, or everything shuts down here. Okay, so we're going to take the wet perfumed, we're going to take the cheapest bedding, the wet straw bedding? Can I turn that into bandages? Maybe, I don't know, let's see. Uh, first of all, let's build the cutting machine. Um, we'll put it here for now. Uh, it's, this is not a good long-term location for it. Ah, okay, so it's just, it's just like, it's just like a paper cutting machine. Okay, so, uh... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It's automatic. It's working automatically. It took my nice fiber bedding and turned it into bandages. <laughs> I mean, that's good. We need the bandages, but it took my best bedding and it turned it into bandages because the chest automatically put, oh, uh, automatically put that over. Oh, well, that's okay. We need the bandages anyway. Um, let's fish while we're bandaging ourselves, or can we even do that? How does this work now? So we, oh, the most basic way to stop bleeding the most basic way to stop bleeding. But who has the time anyway? Right-click on the item to apply. Okay, so that cured all of our bleeding at once. So, I mean, it's worthwhile. We, we do need to do some fishing here. It's almost dusk. But, yeah, what an exciting day. We got into our first bar fight. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I got punched out, and I punched out an orc. You know, uh, that can't be good for business, punching out your, 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 your orc customers. But, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> It was fun. It was entertaining anyway. Oh, boy. We're pro I need to reset all of I need to get these furnaces and these sawmills together and maybe move that bale and set up a manu or an industrial zone right here that's all automated. Oh, wonderful. Catching fish. That's all automated with the wood and everything so that we can start maybe making a little bit of money with the wood that we're going to be getting from... I need to clear the, the area around... Uh, around this this zone so that there's no trees and uh, in doing so we're gonna get a ton of wood and I'd love to be able to turn that wood into nice nice you know either de the decorative lumber or just the regular regular lumber and sell that lumber and make a profit just we're gonna have so much of it we might as well right might as well make some money off of that okay I think it's dusk uh, we could probably get some rest now <laughs> let's grab the, the, let's grab this food and maybe get these going uh, no 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 not fishing not fishing silly orc Silly orc. No, I'm not going to get these. Yeah, no, we'll get these going again. Sure, sure. Might as well. We're going to need more food in the morning anyway. Thing is, I've got so much stuff in my bag here, it's hard to keep track of. So one, two, one, two. Oh, we're almost out of yeast, too, as well. One, two, one, two. And somehow that got turned off. There we go. So we'll get some wood or some food for the morning. Oh, hello. You guys are back. Are you still mad? <laughs> you mad, bro? You mad, bro? 
Um, no, they look okay. Well, you guys go ahead and eat. I'm going to get some rest. Maybe I'll eat a little bit here first. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some rest because it's nighttime. Don't destroy the place. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that sound? Something just happened, and I don't know what. Oh, we got a social rank! Social rank is increased by one for every clan if they reach a certain amount of satisfaction. So we've actually satisfied the Agricult clan. Word has spread. Rumors are spreading of our bar. How wonderful it is. Um, how, much, how much hops do we have left, by the way? We have one set for one more brew, and I think we just need to, we just need to give some, uh, a little bit of yeast here, and then that'll get that going. Oh, perfect. There we go. And let's go harvest some crops. Oh, our hops are ready again. Oh, that's wonderful. And we've got, of course, our oats. We'll grab these. <laughs> We're going to, I mean, <laughs> we, we've got a lot of big things we need to do, but it's going to take some time before we can get it all in place. Like building a brew house is going to take a long time. Well, I don't know about a long time. It's going to take a while because uh, we have to get a whole bunch of things kind of organized and in place first too as well. So yeah, there we go. We've got, uh, that's, we just got a lot of hops. Hold on. How much hops did we get from that? Because all of our hops crops were, hops crops, <laughs> all of our hops crops were ready. We've got 55 hops from that. So that is 11 brews. Uh, so let's put all of that in there. Let's put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 10. So one's already in the malt box. So that gives us 11 more brews for of the agricult brew. Now, uh, let's take a look. Oh, before I do that, let's eat. Let's take a look at our book here. So clan management. So we we have satisfied the agricult clan. Well, does it actually say we've satisfied them? Current, they're allowed. Yeah. Okay. So we can actually disallow them if we want. Just so clan satisfaction. Uh, it doesn't really say anything. Okay. Okay. But we have a new clan, the Ghouls Clan. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let's read this. Long ago, members of the Ghouls were part of respected clans, forming the rear guard in the vast Orcish wars. As success and glory grew within the Orcish army, the once respected latecomers degenerated to Ghouls, searching to, searching the enemy corpses for valuable loot. Now the Ghouls are a disgusting pack of vermin. Ooh, these guys uh, uh, may not be as fun as I think they're gonna be. Oh, so how do I? What kind of beer would they like? Uh, what kind of beer would the ghoul clan like? I, does it give you a hint or something? Clan satisfaction? We could just invite them in and see what they think of the beer. <laughs> uh, but these guys probably won't get along with the agricultural clan. I don't know. But maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Oh! Oh, we do start with a recipe. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we do have a ghoul's recipe. So they want barley. So the agricult, they wanted oats. The ghouls want barley. They want much lower tint brightness, which means less water, I think. Full body, they want uh, less body. So they, they want a really weak beer, um, except they want it... They, they want it less bitter. They don't want it as bitter either, They but they do want... They want it more alcohol strength, which means we're going to be using more yeast for it. And then flavor, who knows, right? Who knows? What what kind of things would the, what would the ghouls want? Maybe a skull, maybe a skull or bones or something in the in the uh, as flavor. I don't even know. I have no idea. Okay, so hmm, we we need this is why we need more brewing equipment because I want to keep making beer for the agricult clan, but I'd also like to start making beer for the ghoul clan now. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, before I do anything more, let's change everything around here. Let's pick the sawmills up. I'm gonna move all of this stuff. I think everything here. The bale. We're gonna move the. Uh, the uh, the the furnaces yes so what I'm gonna do actually what we're gonna do is we're going to clear off all of this grass otherwise it's gonna look funny I just I don't like building things on top of the grass because it looks it's you can't remove the grass after you place something down so we'll just remove all that we'll pick all that up yeah I know we're like totally overloaded we're like 40 41 now actually the, the grass I, I just learned something so the grass actually does affect our encumbrance of course it does but I didn't know that for sure I just noticed it go from 40 to 41 as we're picking up grass here so I'm just gonna cut all of this Oh, I guess I can't, I can't cut that one. That's weird. Why can't I cut that one piece of grass? That's really bizarre. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Let's get... Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to get our... These guys here, the furnaces, we're going to put them up top, separated by a chest. So this way, when we're, when we're making food... 
Um, hold on, let's put down the next part and I'll sort of explain it to you. I, I think this will work. I I've never done this before. I think this will work. So now, if we have wood in these, uh, for example, let's just throw whatever. Let's just put. I just hold on, hold on. Uh, let's go ten. There we go. Just put half of them in there, half of them in here. Whatever, it's close enough. Okay, it's not even close enough. Actually, I put 30 and 60. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now when I want to make food, theoretically... Oh, you know you know what we could do? We could actually automate this as well. So what we could do is we could go to... You know, I wonder if I have any enough iron on me to make some pipes. So I, if I have an over... I can do above ground pipe? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So we could go like this, 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 all the way down. Over to our silo. Oh, I don't have enough to do it. Oh, I miss, I need like a, just a little bit more iron. Because I don't think that's actually in range. I can't see it. Yeah, so no, I need to bring that pipe down by one. So basically, we can put grain in here. Grain's going to go over and fill in the fill up the furnaces as long as there is yeast available. So if I have yeast in here, as and we okay, for example, we'll just say that there's there's uh, this pipe actually connected to the silo, and and I have uh, so the grain would automatically get put into here. Therefore, it'll automatically uh, cook the bread and then put the bread into the chest. That should work. So it's kind of an automated food system. Now, we wouldn't want to do that all the time. Um, but, you know, if we need a, like a lump sum of food at any given time, we can just, you know, pop it in there and away we go. Okay, so the, the next part of this little automation thing is we're going to do these sawmills underneath the wood like so. So they will automatically grab wood from them and then put whatever they've built um, like the the lumber or whatever that they've cut, they will put that in in the actual uh, uh, piles of logs there. So we can also actually what we could do is we could add even more piles of logs like in between to store even more wood. Actually, that's brilliant. So this little system here will not only cook food, but it will also cut lumber as well as provide fuel to the furnaces. And then when we're doing iron, we just put the raw iron in the chest. Yeah, this is actually going to work really well. See how it put the bread automatically in here? Now, uh, that in mind, um, I have an idea for something. We should also put a cupboard in. Oh, uh, we are like super overloaded. What, what what have we got that's so heavy? Oh, I remember. We've still got all that, all of the uh, stuff that, uh, blah, 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 what do you call it? Like the, uh, the limestone and stuff. So we need to put down those. Yeah, we've got the two uh, stone yards on us. Uh, let's put them, I guess, I guess right here for now I guess it doesn't really matter as long as I have room to get around them for now I might move them again later and we had the one iron yard did I have any was that it for the yards yeah I think so okay let's put our stone in here and then uh, we're still pretty overloaded what have we got I guess oh wood oh we've got the apple wood that's why okay let's put the apple wood it doesn't even matter which one we put them in here it doesn't matter because they're gonna they're gonna all of them are gonna use it as long as actually as long as this one is full and this one is full of actual lumber then they will provide to everything that'll work great uh is there any more bread yes we've got more bread in here and we're gonna take this out of here i, I want to be able to put all of our grains in the silo that's the goal here that's why i'm putting this pipe here we're using the above ground pipe just because it's cheaper um later on we might go underground but i didn't want to do that until i was sure of what our design was and I actually kind of like that that's actually pretty cool so we're gonna need uh what do we have too much of okay let's go sell some of this lumber for now Oh, actually, I have an idea. Um, before we sell the lumber, let's build a cupboard. The cupboard is a place where we can store food. Oh, we need nails. Where we can store food and the food doesn't go bad as quickly. It'll actually stay good for longer. So let's get some nails because we're always short on nails. We're actually making money. Look at this. We're up to 10,000 bucks. That is great. Um, let's do 10 at a time. Sure. Oh, we don't need the start with the lowest quality and move up. It doesn't matter if you have high quality nails. I mean, I guess it would normally in a construction project, but in this situation, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's build a cupboard. And I believe the cupboard also gives us bonuses to the dorm and the comfort points. So yeah, uh, let's, can we do it up against the wall maybe? Ah, there we go. There's a cupboard. So it actually did improve the room too as well, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Someone told me I behave creep creep creepy. Someone told me I behave creepy. That's what the faucet tree had just said. <laughs> He is a little creepy, yes. Okay, so the cupboard, we can store. We can store some of our food. Ah, fantastic. All right, let's throw 
almost all of it in there. We're going to be eating some of that food fairly soon. Uh, as a matter of fact, right now, let's eat some food. We're still overloaded. What? Oh, right. Let's sell off any of the extra lumber we have. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and only sell the processed lumber, like the decorative planks or the lumber planks, as well as the bark and uh, the bark. And prob we're probably going to get lots of resin and acorns and stuff like that. We can sell that kind of stuff, sure. Um, let's get rid of some of that grass too as well. I know we don't make the money on the grass and the grass seeds, but I mean, we're, we're just storing way too much of it. Like, I don't even know, what, what do we do with grass seeds? Like, I mean, we can grow grass. Of, of course we can grow grass, but for what reason? For what purpose would we want to grow grass? I can kind of see a reason maybe if, if, you're, if there was no grass on the map and you wanted to compost. Oh, right, that was the other thing that we forgot to put down again. Our compost. Uh, there it is. Oh man, we were we were composting at a nice healthy rate. Uh, that's too bad actually. So let's put uh, let's put all of the Miriam grass back in there. Let's put oh the fish any fish that we get I think unless yeah most of them are going to be pretty low quality. So let's just put our fish in here. I'd rather eat bread anyway. It just makes more sense to eat bread. Bread's just uh, it's easier to make and it's more reliable than the fish. Although we we don't spend enough time fishing, I guess we can't really say that unless we spend enough time fishing. I suppose if you fished all the time it would be oh, some of those fish were pretty good quality, I think. No, they're all they're oh, they're no, they're all kind of medium quality, so that's fine. Um let's put in some more of the this grass here, but oh, the lowest quality first because that's that's uh we need them to ch we need it to change over to compost so and they need to degrade first okay there we go so let's continue our work <laughs> we have so much to do now oh i want I wa the ghouls clan so i wonder if they look different i wonder if they look kind of gray and mean and dark and maybe they're covered in maybe they got blood on their horns or something i don't know <laughs> i'm i'm super excited but it, it takes so long to chop down these stumps um so the developer i think i mentioned this last time the developer Stephen steven calling in the next version he said that he's going to make it so that there is a chop 20 at a time button so uh which would be really handy i don't care if it you know costs the same amount of stamina but it does take way too long to chop down a tree so in a situation like this where we want to uh build a new building like clearing all those trees is just it's daunting i'm i'm gonna do some of it on my own without having having to have you guys sit here and watch me cut down trees because i mean how exciting is chopping down trees right <laughs> Not very, yes. But on the other side of it, we do get to chat, and I like to chat with you guys as well. All right, so a little bit of fishing. Um, I guess it's almost dusk, but I, I, I'm starting to get a little bit better adapted to the game in that um, staying up a little later is okay as long as your stamina is at a decent place. Um, so a uh, little bit of fishing. Um, but you never want your, you don't, you hardly ever, you don't want your stamina to be in the red. Just in general, you don't want it to be in the red because you just take the chance of getting infected and being infected sucks. Oh, we have an appetite for meat. Okay, so this would be one of the reasons that maybe we would want to eat fish or focus on eating fish is because there's a moodlet here that gives us a, uh, restores 50% more hunger for fish. Ah, interesting. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna, oh, fish, caught a fish. Perfect. Maybe we'll go cook a couple of these fish up. Sure, why not? Um, but the bread is so reliable. That's why I like the bread. It's just, it, it you can always count on the bread filling you up. Uh, whereas the fish, you know, it's kind of random what you catch. And then it's really random the quality of the fish that you catch too as well. Uh, the Primarily fishing is for raising stamina. Although you do get some cool stuff. We did get, oh, that's a other thing that I just, uh, is, it, is his hawker still here? Oh, he's gone. Oh, man. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's not rest. No, no, no. So one of the things I want to do. Uh, oh, looks like we maybe missed a hops plant. Oh, oh, oh! There's a hops plant ready to be harvested. I can't believe we missed a hops plant. Oh, or maybe it just wasn't grown at the time. I don't know. Um, we also need to replant our oats. I'm just gonna replant what we have. I'm not gonna buy any more oats right now, cause uh, well, I mean, maybe we should. I don't know, but I mean, we, we've got a fair amount of it. Um. Mostly, we want it for bread, right? And and we are using it for our beer, but honestly, it doesn't take very much to make a lot of beer. Uh, let's see, how are we doing here? So we've got six left in here. The malt box, what is... There are some materials missing. What are you guys missing? Are you guys... No? Uh, oh, you're missing water. Okay, we got to go do a, a water run. Ah, You know, it's, it's raining here and there, and it's filling it up most of the time, but uh, not fast enough we need to make sure that it stays 
topped up on water. Otherwise, uh, well, we're not going to run out of beer anytime soon, but I want to keep it flowing. We've got to keep it flowing for the agricult dudes. They've been, they've been really good to us, except for, you know, maybe trying to punch me out and causing me to bleed. Aside from that, they've been good. <laughs> Aside from all of the terrible violence, but that's typical of orcs. We can't really blame them for being violent. That's just what they are. I mean, I suppose I'm kind of a violent orc too as well. I did beat them up. I mean, I beat up everybody in the bar. Like you'd think, hey, we've got four guys in our bar now. We're starting to get more popular. Oh, this is great. Actually, that's good money now. You can just, the money's just kind of flowing right in. That's great. Okay, let's get this going again. Fill her up. I wonder how long I can keep that water on me. It's weird that I can carry 88 water, like just in general, 88 water, but it's probably quite heavy. So we'll use that up. So now where our mold box is working again, wonderful. Okay, let's start chopping some more wood. Ugh. <laughs> so I'm gonna put our brew house right where we're standing right here. So, and I want it big enough so that we can brew at least a couple beers at a time and then fill barrels uh, of, the, of that beer. And, and then have that sort of stored for when, you know, for when we want to use them. Uh, okay, so that's good. Let's go fill up. Oh, so heavy. That's one tree gone. Um, I want to get rid of at least two, if not three more trees before we can do uh, everything I want to do. Let's pick up that and just drop. I'll try it. Whoops. I'll try and keep these, these, these top lumber yards full of just lumber, of just raw lumber. And then the ones in the bottom will hopefully focus on uh, storing like the, the the cut lumber and stuff so this stuff here which is great and good money we're ma we'll make good money on that too as well uh, and let's we got to go sleep it's dark it's nighttime it is totally nighttime we are out of food or we're not out of food so the food will actually stay fresher longer in the cupboard but we'll eat in the morning sure there's no point in eating right now we'll eat in the morning okay let's get some rest so nobody's staying in our inn I wonder why I wonder what's wrong with our inn what do we need to have for for maybe the agriculture, they don't like to stay in the inn. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's go to our cupboard and go get some more bread. Fortunately, we've got quite a bit of bread, actually. Probably enough to last us for at least a few days. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops, 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 whoops. I forgot I was on the 10. Uh, let's just put it back to one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that. Oh. Oh, actually, uh... Semi-low quality bread. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's good enough for now. Okay, let's go. Uh, we've got to replenish our stamp. Oh, it's raining. Actually, now it rains. After we bring all that water, now it rains. It figures. See, this is actually working very, very well. We need more, we need more, um, uh, what you call it, yeast, so that we can uh, make some more bread. Oh, I guess we don't need to right now. Okay, let's do some fishing. We need iron is what we need. Um, we need a bunch more iron because we're going to have, I want at least to have another two more brewing kettles so that we can be brewing different beers and have, I think we have to have a faucet trian for each different type of beer. I don't think it would make sense to feed all of the different types of beer into one faucet trian. I think we're better off having multiple faucet trians that are receiving different types of beers at different times. Ah, uh, did we just get a message in a bottle? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did we just get a message in a bottle? A bottle with a message. The paper is slightly wet and the scribble is hard to read. Right click on the item to read. <gasps> this, the secret to a good brew is hard work. The secret to a great brew is having someone else do the hard work. Keep the second secret to yourself and you will do just fine. So I think it's basically hinting that we should be making sure that we automate our processes, which we have. Somebody else is building our beer right now. All we are doing is providing the, the materials, the raw materials, and it is building the beer on its own and even serving it. We are doing nothing to maintain our bar right now except for occasionally punching out some orcs, which is, I don't know, that part's kind of fun. Kind of enjoy that. Uh, how are we doing for time here? Ah, oh, we're almost out of time. That sucks. I feel like we didn't get anything done except for a big a bit of a bar fight and a little bit of this automation. I feel like we didn't get anything done. And, uh, you know, some of that's because, you know, oh, hold on. What do we got? We, looks like we, oh, let's sell off. Let's go to the hawker. Is the hawker here? Oh, hawker's not quite here yet. Let's start chopping some of this wood. We'll sell some raw stuff because, yeah, I think we're just going to have to, I think. So we'll do a little bit of chopping till the hawker gets here, and then we will go sell everything off. I I'm clicking as fast as, as humanly possible. I mean, <laughs> not like MLG Pro fast, but I mean, it's pretty fast, I think. Okay, here comes the hawker. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, there definitely needs to be a uh, fast chop button because this is this is actually kind of ridiculous. Like, if you're trying to remove trees, this is ridiculous. Okay, ridiculous. <laughs> Harry Potter, by the way. Yeah. Okay, let's go back and sell off everything, and we're gonna grab some more 
Uh, do we? Oh, we have 45 reputation points. Let's see what kind of uh, stuff we can get. Um, also, oh, yeah, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. So the ghouls want barley? Yeah, so we've been making beer out of oats. The ghouls want barley beer, so let's get uh, let's get access to barley. So we can see we can start growing barley. That's a really good idea. We don't know how long that's going to take. I'm assuming it's going to be the same length of time as oats, just because they're a very similar similar beast, I think. Okay, so let's uh, sell off any of the bark and wood and sawdust. Wow, good money. Wow, that's great. Um, we don't need to keep all that water on us. It's just weighing us down. Was that it? Uh, let's buy some more fertilizer because we're going to need that. I know we've got some fertilizer coming, but it's it's going to take some time uh, before we actually get to be able to use that. And if we're going to be growing a new crop here, we're going to need lots. Wow, that's, it's pretty expensive, but we are making money, so that's okay. Okay, so let's go see. It, we need access to barley. So sunflower, berry, colossus, wheat, onion, rye. There's a lot of different types of seeds here. Uh, barley, here we go. So 25 reputation points, a written agreement with the trader. Right click on the item to read. This seed warrant will unlock barley seeds for sale from the hawker called Hawker. The seeds will be available during the summer only. So we're going to buy that. And then I assume we just right click on it and that will open it up. He may not have it right now. It might be the next time he shows up because he probably has to go get them. Yeah, let's just double check. So he still only has oats, hops and sugar. Sugar beets. So, uh, yeah, so he'll probably come back next time with barley seeds. Hey, that's really great. Guys, we're totally out of time. I wish we had more time to play this. We are, have, our bar is full. Look at this. Well, I mean, we've got four people in here. Uh, we could actually join them for a beer, but this is going well, the Fluffy Orc Inn. And soon we are going to have a jute box. Hey, there was something else I saw here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I remember seeing a record at one of these, for a record for a jukebox. I think eventually we can get a jukebox in here and maybe have some music playing. We can have like a slot machines and stuff. We need a bigger bar, that's what we're gonna need. If we've already got four people in here and this is just the first clan, we need a bigger bar. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. I love this game, it's a lot of fun. And the more I play, the more interesting and bizarre it gets. <laughs> All right, take care, bye guys, bye.